been a long road since the original kicker christened that first pickup truck. It kicked off a car audio renaissance, and upgrading your music in a vehicle was a requirement. America's Music Machines became live and loud over your passion, your emotion, your existence. Outdoors or on the open road, your sound is kicker. Simon. Are you ready? <laughs> 22. Me, me, me. We're doing it one more time. We're going to do another one. We're going to do this right this yeah. time. We can, we can, we can. Check. I'm Smeatlish. Smeatlish. Fat. Camera adds 27 pounds. Okay. It just seems like a, a, a I know. rough it's, tra it's, it's just kind of, yeah. This is Dave. And Kip. Come check us out. Bad. This is Kip. And Dave. And I got it wrong again. And we're going to have to do this again because we both on a got... different trail. <laughs> Until then, this is Dave. And Kip. Come check us out. C -c Come check us out. Yeah. Wiki, got... wiki, 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 wiki. I think that's good. <laughs> just pick one. God, I hate the ending. There's no way to yeah. end this. Just say, come see us. Come. Just come see us. And just come see us. So. Come see us at the extra, come see us at the two locations. God, I, it just seems so hard. Oh, <laughs> howdy. Delmar Hogwall up here coming to you from outside Mildred's Bait Shop in Lingerie. Want to appreciate you all coming, giving a look-see in on the Kicker Unmasked show. Those folks at Kicker salt to the earth make some of the finest gear ever tickle your ear. So, mighty fine of you to come take some time off and check them out. And remember, whether you're looking for night crawlers or nighties, Mildred's is your place. So once again, thank, hey, what? Hey, son, put down that armadillo and get some pants on. Oh my lord, kids. <laughs> Music is my passion, my livelihood, and it's in my DNA. My pals at Kicker Marine Audio gave me a chance to take the music what I love and listen to at home, on stage, and in the car, onto the water. Hi, this is Jason Bonham, and I want to say a big thank you to my friends at Kicker Audio for inspiring the songs and the stories behind the music that inspires America. Go overboard! The Kicker Quad Box is the most insane, ground-pounding, basshead-loving, preloaded subwoofer enclosure we have ever offered. It consists of four L7R 12-inch subwoofers. It has a total power handling of 2400 watts RMS, and it's tuned at an amazing 31 hertz. Here to tell us more about it is Kicker's very own Jeremy Brown. Hi, my name is Jeremy Brown. I've been with Kicker for 22 years. I work in the research and development department. In the early 2000s, I would run the Gates Bronco at shows like Daytona. We would do hair tricks, 48 10-inch subwoofers with 48 1,000-watt amplifiers. Really big build back in that day. 
We were able to develop some high output enclosures that were up above the 170 dB mark. We set a few world records with some of those enclosure designs and our woofers. We learned a lot about high output enclosure designs during that time and we've been able to bring that to our product lines today. Within the last year, we introduced a new subwoofer enclosure with four L7R12s that we call the Quad Box. Our Quad Box is built out of three quarter inch birch. It's got a one and a half inch baffle and a one and a half inch bottom. We also use window frame bracing along with corner bracing to make the enclosure more rigid. We use a flared port to reduce port noise and increase port surface area. This type of vent design helps maximize output. We use the L7R 12 inch subwoofers because this allows you to use one KXA 2400.1 amplifier and you still get big bass with fewer upgrades to your charging system. The Kicker Quad Box is the bass head starter kit. And if you're worried, it plays way below 40 hertz. Do not attempt to adjust this transmission. We have assumed control. The year is 1980. Music fights for its very survival in an acoustically desolate wasteland man calls automobile. Enter Steve Irby, a man whose love of music helped end this scourge forever and forge a path for modern car audio to follow. A humble musician with a passion for quality sound, Mr. Irby is a man who feels it is his destiny to provide a sanctuary for mobile audio. Welcome. Join us this evening as we venture back to the very night a young Steve Irby gains his inspiration to create the legacy we know today as Kicker Performance Audio. Though he does not realize it now, by this time tomorrow, Mr. Irby will have completed blueprints for the original kicker and champion the war against mobile audio inequality. Tonight, Mr. Irby's prayers will be answered as he begins his quest into the Q zone. Kicker L7QB8. With roots dating back to Kicker's inception, Mr. Irby and his team of engineers have achieved an unrivaled level of design and functionality. With extraordinary base and a minimal footprint, the L7QB8 utilizes a seamless quarter inch extruded aluminum housing, allowing optimal internal air volume for the subwoofer. This exclusive design provides exceptional strength and stability. Like the original Kicker, the L7QB8 incorporates a unique passive radiator to minimize required airspace while optimizing the efficiency and frequency response of the subwoofer. Opposite the passive radiator, the L7QB8 is equipped with the all new 8 inch L7 square subwoofer. The 2016 L7 features an aluminum basket for exceptional strength and thinned aluminum heat sinks for efficient heat dissipation. Kicker's blue lace spider, solo cone 360 degree back bracing, and a laser etched cone brace combine as a single ultra rigid unit. The result is increased clarity, higher volume, and added reliability. The square cone features over 20% more surface area than round subwoofers. It's attached to a Santa Prine surround, then stitched to the cone for long life and durability. This surround features Kicker's patented rib corners, which fully dictates cone motion and extends surround life. 
At the base of the unit, a pair of custom form flanges integrate seamlessly with an extremely low profile mounting system, consisting simply of a mounting plate and bar. Once installed, the overall height of the enclosure is only nine and a half inches. This profile is small enough to work perfectly in countless trucks, sedans, and SUVs. Once again, Kicker sets a new standard with the groundbreaking design and unparalleled performance of the all-new L7 QB8. This is where Kicker started, right here, in this garage right back here. It was a great place, but just a little bit small. And uh, after about six months, actually, we got kicked out of here. My wife said there's entirely too much sawdust uh, seeping into the house from the garage. But um, this was the beginning right here in the garage on 1412 Eastern Street in this little house. Okay, here we are at Kicker location number two down on South Main Street in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And this is the little house that we moved into after we got kicked out of the garage. Kicker location number three. We spent about seven or eight years in this place. We moved from the little house right over here into the quantum of that when we ran out of space. We had about 35 employees. Our kicker location number four. This is up on top of the hill. It's a little bit windy here. But we spent the years from 1989 until about 2006 here, until we moved into our new facility.
Good evening, everyone. It is Kicker Tuesday night, Kicker Unmasked Live Weekly, 7.30 Central Time. You are tuned into the house. Hope everyone's had a great week. This past week was a fun one for us. I mean, uh, John wasn't there, but John's joining me tonight. I got a reprieve. You did get a reprieve from that. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't go outside and cook all weekend like we did. Well, I did the weekend before at the motorcycle You races. did do the weekend before. Where were you at the weekend before? That was Oklahoma City for the flat track races that we sponsored. Flat track races. John was there. But this past weekend, we were at the Kicker Country Stampede. That was a Thursday, Friday, Saturday event up in Topeka, Kansas at the Heartland Motorsports Raceway Park. We had a really good time up there. I know some of the viewers who are here on Kicker on Mass Live were actually up there because we got to meet them in person, so it's kind of a good time. Well, that's awesome. It was awesome. You know, we've got a great show planned for tonight. We have some special guests joining us from all the way over on the far west coast or in that area right there. It's actually going to be uh, Sean and uh, I'm going to get my notes here so I don't forget Chase from UTV Car Stereo. They're going to be joining us, so that's going to be a good time, but we'll get to them in just a little bit, uh, a little bit further here in the show. As you know, here in the beginning, we always have this thing called housekeeping that I like to take care of. I want to let you know about the contest. I want to let you know about events that are coming up and, you know, get some shout outs on the screen. Brad Manning, hello from Stillwater. How you doing, Brad? Thanks for tuning in to the show tonight. We certainly appreciate every single one of you who are tuned in. Little Ralph Andy. Hey, John and Kip. Glad you guys made it back home. Well, safe's a relative term. Yeah, we're home. Say. We're home. We're never <laughs> safe wherever we're, we're at. I don't know if anyone else is safe when yeah, we're around. That takes all the fun out of it if it is. You know, uh, I just want to recap here real quick uh, the contests that we've got going on right now. Uh, the first one would be the uh, contest that we're doing with Mr. Mark Eldridge over at Mobile Soundstage Engineering, and that is a full giveaway that we're doing. Hey, Ernie, if you don't mind, bring my laptop up as an asset on the screen when you get a chance right there. I'd actually like to have this up there. Oops, there's the wrong one. Let's move over there. Seems like we never run out of contests, do we? we well, we try to keep them coming, don't we, John? Absolutely. You know, this, you guys. <laughs> this is the Kicker and MSE Seminar Giveaway, and as you know, the winner of this is going to get basically uh, your hotels covered so you can come and stay for the five days. It's going to cover the weekend. It's going to cover a couple days coming to Stillwater. We're going to get you on the Kicker Unmasked Live weekly show that Tuesday night. You're going to get a tour of the Kicker headquarters. You get to put up with all us knuckleheads during that time. You, more importantly, you get a seat that weekend, which is the uh, 20th through the 22nd uh, at, over there with uh, Mr. Mark Eldridge at the Mobile Soundstage Engineering class. Then we're going to bring you over to Stillwater. We're going to put you in another hotel. We're going to keep you here. We're going to give you a tour of Kicker. And then we're going to have you be on the show, the Unmasked Live. And we're going to throw a couple, uh, a couple of honey, $250 in there so that you can help cover whatever expenses you got to come and go, cover some meals, whatever you need to do. This is a prize package valued at well over $1,500, folks. And you are going to have to I meet. Mean, it's a fixed date. you got to come. you got to get yourself here. This is a fantastic event. Uh, if you haven't entered for this, as you can see, total entries, we're looking at about 138,531 entries. Uh, you need to enter this contest. We've got six days left. We will draw for this contest on the July 6th show with, with Mr. Mark Eldridge himself. So if you have not entered this contest, if you're new to the show, if you've never been to the Kicker Unmasked Live event, we are in a habit of doing these weekly and nightly or even monthly contests. So be sure you go check this one out. More importantly for tonight, and I know Bill Frog will get this scrolling across the screen. He probably has it already. Since my laptop's an asset, I can't see what's going on the screen right now. But we actually have tonight's laptop's drawing. A what? An asset. Okay, just making sure. It's, an, it's, it's, a, it's a studio term. All right. Just, so if the guys are coming here, do they need to get their rabies and tetanus shots? Uh, as long as they promise not to bite me. All right. <laughs> That is I won't true. Promise that. John's in the studio. I think. Have you had your shots, John? Tonight's contest, obviously, this is the uh, kicker.fun forward slash UTV stereo. The link's real easy tonight. It's going to be uh, the same name as our guest. You want to go check that out. That's going to run until 8.30 Central Time. You can enter that contest. As you can see, third place is going to be some EB300 earbuds, a couple kicker koozies, and a limited edition T-shirt. We're going to throw that same prize up to second place, and then we're going to kick it up to first place grand prize. If you're the grand prize winner on tonight's contest, we are going to let you get a PXI BT100.2 amplified control. That's great to use in anything that's ATV, UTV, boat, motorcycle. It's a great little Bluetooth controller. Plus, we're going to get you the koozies, and we're going to get you a limited edition while they still last, those black T-shirts from the original show. And I see what you did there with the giveaway product, something we actually have in stock. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> there is that, John. There is that New reality. feature, shipping. <laughs> New feature, shipping. Oh, that's funny. So those are the two contests we've got going on tonight, folks. Be sure you enter the one for Mobile Soundstage Engineering. Drawing for that is going to be July 6th. 
Tonight's contest, we clock it off at 8.30 Central Time, then we're going to draw the winner. We'll announce you before we close out the show at 9 o'clock. Now, speaking of contests, the next thing that's really cool about contests is events. And I don't think anyone, let me get this out of my ears, I don't need it right now, anyone who's tuned in uh, to life over the past 12 to 16 months knows that you know a lot of companies, including us, have been shut down, haven't been able to get out and do a lot of live events. We finally got that train rolling again. Things are looking good. And if Ernie will bring us back up on the screen, I'm going to roll through these real quick. We have the kicker, Country Stampede, which is the, you like that? Man, that was like the mirror effect. Thanks, Ernie. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> This is the one we just attended. Obviously, this was June 24th through 26th. This one's in the rearview mirror. Those who got to attend, it was a great time. But what we've got going on here, the next event is going to be July 27th through August 1st. This is up in Winchester Bay, Oregon, and this is Dune Fest. We are going to be there at this event as well. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Be sure to put that on your calendar. If you're Outlaw Armageddon, the oh, World yeah. Series of No Prep. I mean, unless you've been sleeping on a rock, you know who these guys are and what they've been doing. Knuckleheads. Knuckleheads, indeed. They make us but look boy, good. they're entertaining. <laughs> this is going to be August 13th to 14th. This is actually down at the Thunder Valley Raceway Park in Noble, Oklahoma. Just down the street about an hour or so for us, so it's not that bad, but that is going to be the next uh, consumer-oriented event. That is a good time. You want to put that on your calendars? If you're a dealer, you're tuning in, you all know all about Knowledge Fest. The one in Dallas is coming up. We're going to be attending that one down in Dallas. And that is, let me pull down here, it's going to be August 27th through the 29th in Dallas, Texas. That is on our schedule. Looks like it's a go for everything on that. So uh, put that on your schedule if you're a dealer. Next one is Ocean City Jeep Week. This is a huge event that happens. Another big event. Big, big event. It's August 26th and 29th. This event's actually going to be going on at the same time as Knowledge Fest, but fortunately for us, we're going to split the team up. We'll be out there. We'll be handling both events together. I'm sure you'll probably be at one of them. Divide and conquer. I would hope so. So that is the events that we've got on our event calendar going on for the foreseeable future. As we get more, I just want to see this because that's a cool effect right there. I know Ernie will switch here in just a second because he'll get tired <laughs> of looking at it. But those are the events that we've got going on, uh, coming up at least, for you guys can come out and actually experience the uh, you know, kicker personnel. The kicker XRV will be at some of these. It's going to be a really good time. So drop these on your calendar. Put them in your, uh, your to-do list if you happen to be in that area. The uh, contest. Be sure that you, if you are from Canada, if you're north of the border, besides enjoying excellent beer that we don't get here in the States sometimes, uh, you guys are eligible to enter any of our contests. Keep that in mind. Uh, when we initially did this, it was uh, strictly the continental U.S. We've now expanded that through our good friends at Jemson. They are our distributor up in Canada, and with their help, we've actually opened up all of our contests to include Canada. Uh, as we move forward, if we can include other countries, we will. So it's nice to say that all this contest is open to Canadian and USA residents. So be sure you hit that. And then last but not least, guys, if you get a chance, we don't monetize these videos. That's not what this show is about at all. But it sure, sure helps us know that you like the content. We're doing things you enjoy. Is uh, On the way out the door tonight, if you could, just smash that like button on the way out if you've enjoyed smash the content. It. Just just hit it hard. <laughs> if you didn't, thumb it down. We take both ways. we got big shoulders. We can take the criticism. But we also love to get feedback from you uh, in the comment section, letting us know you enjoyed the content, you didn't. Uh, give us things that you'd like to see, other topics you'd like to have. We accept all of that. It's really cool for us because we want this show to be something you guys are interested in. Uh, you can always reach out to social at kicker.com and drop any suggestions that you would like to see on the show. Throw them at us. That's uh, the direct pipeline to get into Bill Frog's head. Social. I'd like to see you wear some makeup on one of these. That would be <laughs> my suggestion. <laughs> I'd like to see Bill back in the Bill Frog suit on one of uh, these. I think that would be cool. We keep. I, I, we we haven't, need to do that. We haven't found the right number of commas to get him to do it yet. Yeah, it's going to take some commas. Can we throw Cheerios and milk at him? <laughs> Yannick. Hey, I hope I get this right, man. Yannick. Polasek, man, I apologize if I didn't get that correct, but I am proof that the contest works for Canadians. So you are one of our Canadian winners. Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, if you get a chance to throw in the feed, what were you the winner of? Would love to know so we can throw that up on the screen. So let us know what that is. Beer and Canadian <laughs> bacon, 25 hertz to like. Yeah, I agree with beer and Canadian bacon. That always goes good together. Absolutely. That uh, here's we got here. The only kicker event I need is my two 12-inch Q-Class when I turn on my Avalon. They rock. Weber fan 1234, thanks for that shout out and that comment. We love knowing that the products we're putting to market are giving you guys the, the sound, the fun, the enjoyment that you want for your music and your lifestyle. That really means a lot to us that you do that. Yeah, those Q-Class subwoofers are amazing. Both they the are L7s amazing. and the Comp Qs. Yeah, the Comp Qs and the L7s Phenomenal both are fantastic. sounding speakers. Uh, I'm going to grab this one here. I didn't see this, but they showed it. Albert Hernandez, when is the new Solo X coming out? I need six 12-inch form. Only six? 
Oh, come on, man. It's time to step up. You need more than six. How about a baker's dozen? <laughs> a baker's dozen. <laughs> How do you split that? Yeah, I guess. It's like, we'll work on that later. Because a baker's dozen is thir 13. 13. So if you only, okay. You got to have a spare. You got to have a center channel. There it is. I'll give you that. Center channel. Uh, you know, those drivers, that entire line is in development. Uh, we've approved a couple of them. The uh, And as you know, everyone is familiar with Solo X. Solo X is the family of products we are coming out with. The L7X is the first one in that family that's going to hit the market. Those will be available in a 10, 12, and a 15. Um, as it sits right now, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, you know, everyone's dealing with delays across the board in every industry that's on uh, Mother Earth. Uh, we've had to push that back a little bit. Uh, we're actually going to do a special update on that probably in July. Maybe the second show in July, we'll do an update on the entire L7X project. It's in full development. It's going really well. Uh, we've approved the 12. I think we basically approved the 10 at the last meeting I was at, and we listened to our first 15 uh, as far as a prototype. Uh, they all sound and perform fantastic. They're so impressive. They're, they're I awesome. Mean, you guys just you won't believe what these things are going to do. So we'll plan that, probably not for the July 6th show, but probably the show after that. We'll do a full update on Solo X. We have some great slow-mo videos showing those in action. If you haven't seen that yet, we'll bring that and post that on the feed. But, you know, Solo X, I know there's a lot of excitement for that. It is in full development. We just need you to understand the uh, the, the year that none of us want to remember has slowed down a lot of things for everyone. I, I can't even get brick for my house. I know. I mean, it's crazy what's been going on as far as And then as if that. you have brick, you can't get anybody to put it up. Well, that's your problem. Yeah, that's and you got the no-brick problem. So. I got a bricker, but I got no brick. You got brick, but no bricker. Maybe we could. Oh, well. It's like the year of the car audio famine. It is. It <laughs> is. That's true. We talked during the Hi-Fi Trail. said blah, blah, blah. Weber, yet pretty good, loud. And they, oh, here we go. I'm going to bring us. So, uh, Weber, yet pretty good, loud, and they have good bass. Wear them when I say movies like A Quiet Place 2. Yes. Oh, okay. That was a good movie. That was a good movie. I scored two Kicker ZX460s with three sets of end caps and modules today. Wow. Scott from Powerhog, sounds like you hit the gold pot at the end of the rainbow. God, I remember, you remember the 460s? That was a lot of fun, the four channels. I do. I also remember you and I were in tech when this happened, because that John and I both started off in tech services. In 96. Yeah, it has been a long time ago. Yeah. And I actually had a, had a guy call up, and he was, uh, he's like, yeah, I've got this kicker four-channel amplifier, and, I, and I'm having problems with it, and et cetera. And come to find out, I was like, because I asked, I said, you sure you had a kicker four-channel amplifier? And it was the year that we put the four-channel in the catalog, but we didn't have it. Yeah, that was the 450 SS. It was. And it was kind of funny. So after we got to the end of it, he's like, no, nah, man, I don't have one, but I got a different brand four-channel amplifier. I'm having problems. I thought maybe you guys could help me. <laughs> So I helped and we did. I, did. I mean, I did my that's job. That's what we do. Uh, good score on that, Scott. That's awesome that you got those. And did we learn a lesson on that? Not to put it in the catalog before. <laughs> not put it in the catalog until it's ready to ship. Ever. Well, we try to do that, but yeah. it's not going to work all the time. So I think that covers housekeeping for tonight. Uh, we got JW back in the studio tonight. So JW is back there. He's off of vacations, fresh off of the country stampede. He's back there. We got Bill Frog in the rear as well, and of course Ernie. He's back there running the main switching console. Tim is out tonight. He decided he deserved a vacation. So Tim is not here this evening. So we've got three fixed cameras that Ernie's back there switching between. So it'll be a little difficult to do zooms and uh, some of those pan shots we normally do. So it's just going to be a three fixed camera rig tonight. So we apologize for that, folks. But at least we are here. Yep. So that means we get to work him twice as hard next week. We get to work him three times as hard there next week. There you go. Uh, something before we get our special guest in from UTV Stereo. Uh, real quick, John, if you could. I know that we have actually started shipping or have shipped. They're all gone. Um, a couple of new products that are good for not just boats, but they're really targeted on ATV and UTV, and that would be... You're not talking about these power bars like this one in front of us here, are exactly you? Exactly, I'm talking or about. Or this little guy behind me back here. Give me a real real quick rundown. We got the KB... KBB1. And the which K... Is that one. That one. And the KPB Dose. Yes. Which is this one. Yep. Um, give me the quick features on each one. Real now. quickly, you've got... Four three-inch drivers, two silk dome tweeters, 150 watts of power built in. We're going to drop down here. We're going to give you two more three-inch woofers on each channel and 300 watts of power. So PB1, 150 50. watts. And PB2. Six drivers. So yep. And then you move up to this one, double the power, and eight drivers. Yeah. And eight drivers. They both, and this is something that's pretty cool. Well, actually, that's ten drivers. Ten, oh, ten drivers. Ten. Ten drivers. Yeah, you're, you're jipping us two drivers there. It's ten drivers. But, you know, what's really cool is, like I said, the little remote control and the broadcast mode. 
I mean, if you've got a bunch of buddies you know, around, you can actually use these like a, a broadcast station. Exactly. So there's no limit to how many you can like tie in within a 100 foot radius or so. So that's so pretty, that's pretty cool. awesome. So if you've got a couple UTVs there and you have a couple of these and your buddies and yours, or even on your boat if you're back, backed up that, you can stream the same signal to all of them at the same time. Yeah. Basically, it's like a mini FM radio station. Yeah, how many times have we been to events where people are like, can't you play the same thing on all the cars at once? Now, now we you can. can. <laughs> yeah. And this is cool, the remote control. This comes with a really good rubber strap, so you can strap it to your steering wheel control wherever you want to do it. It's got and a laser pointer built in. It does? <laughs> Ow! Um, but the cool part about this is it's RF. So instead of being a laser pointer or infrared, this is actually an RF remote control, so there is no pointing at the bar. This what does RF mean? Radio frequency. There you go. Or really <laughs> fun if you're into the UTV scene. So this is cool, the remote control is RF. Uh, it has a uh, micro USB charger, so you can take it off, take it back inside the house and charge up. These will run for a really long time on the charge, but then you can charge them back up when you need to. So keep that in mind, these come with the RF remote control with them. These are not available on kicker.com because every one we got in went Go right on. out the door to yep. dealers. So if you're interested in finding a KBK, KPB1, man, the B and the P and the P and the B. Yeah, peanut butter. <laughs> KPB1 or KPB2, be sure you go to your local kicker dealer or kicker.com and hit the dealer locator there. You can find dealers in your area because the ones we currently have are all out in the field. We will not have these available on kicker.com direct until we have filled all the back orders for our dealers. And I know we've got more of these coming in. They're on another container shipping in. But I just want to let you know they are in the field. They are available. So if that product is of interest to you, you can go check it out at your local kicker And dealer. I suppose you brought up an interesting point you know, with the website. If you go to order something on the website and this is currently not available, that doesn't mean we've discontinued it. That just means we don't have it at the moment. Yeah, that's something we do, guys, is we are always going to put the product in our dealer's hands first before it goes on kicker.com. So even though it shows out of stock on our website, check the dealers. Yeah, because a lot of times they have inventory that, you know, they buy it in bulk. And Jim Grant, how does the sharing work? Bluetooth? Yes, it yes. is Bluetooth. Basically, you put one of the PB uh, power bars into its transmit mode, and it becomes just like a little mini FM transmitting tower, and it plays and it broadcasts a signal, and then you can go to the other bars and put them into receiving mode, and they just get that same signal. So you can, can go to one power bar, you can go to two, three, four, ten, twenty, twenty. I mean, hundred. Theoretically, it's a hundred. Well, I'll be honest, we haven't checked a hundred here, but the way it works, there's no limitation to how many you could broadcast to. I think your limitation is how many can you pack in within a hundred feet. Hundred feet, right? So that's really what it is. But it is a Bluetooth transmission system on that. So hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for throwing that up, Jeremy. That's a great, great, great question. Yeah, and something else with those, they've got an auxiliary input and a line output for a subwoofer. True. Yes. So Weber cool fan features. one two three four. I think Dean from Five Stars talking about using the power bar for the ultimate tailgate audio setup. You know, it would be. A an ultimate tailgate setup, and like John was just saying, these do have not only aux in, but they have a aux out, and that aux out can be used to add whatever subwoofer you want to the system. So if you want to add a sub to that, you certainly can. Or if you just could. want to link more amplifers to it. And or, or as I think, if you use this as the ultimate tailgate setup, would be cool is to take the aux in to your system in your vehicle, whether it's factory or aftermarket, and then you could have the audio system come off of your factory radio as well. So you can get yep. your FM tuner or Sirius satellite radio or anything else you got along for the ride, you could play out through the power bar. So I think that's a really good idea. Uh, I'm just looking through the comments here real quick, see if there's one, put a grill, blah, blah, blah. D4, the show can start now. Franco Quaid is here. Hey, Deviant, how are you doing this evening? You know, Deviant, as you know, the show is always rigged, and you know how. And those who know, know. <laughs> and and Justin, you that. can put one in the grill of your Civic. <laughs> you could. I don't know if I'd want that. You know, you'll have bugs in your grill, but. Hey, you're going to get them on your, your, your true, true. ATV or UTV or anything else. Uh, hey, they'll repel that. They're IP66 rated. So, Ernie. While John and I are here with our ugly mugs on the screen, can you flash up who our special guests are coming in tonight? I know you got a cool logo and you showed me how you could overlay it. Who are, who is out there in the ethernet interfere, interwebs, internet, and they're gonna join us tonight? Don't disappoint me, show the logo. Bring it on. Yes! Nice. UTV Stereo. Uh, you know, we were talking about who we wanted to have on the show for guests tonight, and UTV Stereo, they are a fantastic account. Uh, I don't want to give away any of the secrets or the tricks of them. I actually want to bring these guys on. So, Ernie, if you'd like, Jeremy, let's get these guys in the feed so we can talk about stuff. We'll get our earbuds in so hopefully we can hear them. And let's move it on down to Highway. There's one. Hey, I hear audio. Okay. I hey, heard guys. Rumbling. Hello. There we go. Hey. Hey, what's happening? We have Sean and Chase from UTV Stereo join this evening. And I'll let you uh, introduce yourself to the audience as which is which. Who is Sean and who is Chase? I'm Sean. Hey, and I'm Chase. 
You know, you guys obviously deal a lot with our uh, internal sales guy here, Tracy Foch, and he's the one that recommended that we have you guys on the show. And so uh, we were at the Stampede talking about tonight's event, and he recommended it, and uh, Chase said, yeah, I'm in. So, Sean, you know who to blame for being on camera tonight. You can just squarely <laughs> pat that guy on the back right over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, according to Tracy, you guys do uh, a stellar job with Kicker as far as uh, you know, as, as being a manufacturer and you being a, a, a retailer or a dealer. But that aside, the thing he really talked about is that you guys are like artists at putting together great sounding UTVs. And he was talking about how you guys have, the way you do it and the enclosure you use and everything is that you guys really have a powerhouse of options that you bring to the table. Is, that, is, he, is he accurate? For sure, yeah. We. Our customers come to us and they they want the biggest, the best, the loudest, and, and Kicker's been awesome. You know, the first time I met you gentlemen, was it would be two years ago now if I've got my math correct. I guess it could be three. I mean, that last year, I can't keep track of time anymore, the year that the calendar wanted to go in the trash can. But you guys had a vehicle out there called Gold, I think, was it Gold Member? Gold Finger? Gold, gold Member. Gold Member. Gold. Jeez, gold keep right uh, behind us. Okay, so you have it right there. Nice. And and as I recall, you guys had a pair of 15-inch subs in the back of that thing. Yes, sure do. I know it sounded fantastic. I mean, we heard the thing clear around the corner and over at the kicker booth, and you guys were like two aisles over and on the end, and we came over and checked it out, and, and that was one fantastic sounding UTV. So I have to ask you just on that one, what made you guys want to rip the back seat out and put in a pair of 15s in a big ported box? When you're running compression horn speakers, you got to have bass. And taking the back seats out, we did two comp R15s and vented enclosures, put them on seat bases, and that was game over. That's it, awesome. It is a fantastic vehicle, and I know you guys are real creative because you even took in the, the bracket system that we do on our KM. At that time, all we had was the KMTCs. Uh, we didn't have the flat mounts available at that point, and you guys actually uh, fabricated up your own brackets to get those cans down as shallow as possible to fit on your bar system back there. Yep, sure did. So tell us a little bit more about UTV Stereo. When did the shop open? Where are you guys located? Rumor is you're opening up a new shop. Give us a little bit more about you. Sure, we, uh, we've been in business for nine years. Uh, we've really been doing the UTV scene since day one, but we hit it hard when we launched UTV Stereo in about 2016. And we've just really kind of perfected our craft to find the empty spaces in these cars, find ways to put amplifiers in them, load them up with speakers. Um, I mean, the Can-Am X3, we do four 10-inch subwoofers in those on the 4C car, oh, nice. 100 seat. Um, I mean, we put seven amplifiers in these cars. We keep them functional, too. So that's, you know, we want it to look good, sound good, and you'd be able to go out and drive these things as well. I'll tell you what's crazy about it is I had an opportunity to hear a vehicle that you guys had set up, and it had the four subwoofers that you're set up that you're talking about, and it's legit the first UTV that I've heard out in an open, just sitting in a parking lot at a show in an open air environment that had that, I'm a car base drawing you to it. And when I got up there and I sat in, I got to experience it. The steering wheel was literally vibrating up and down. The entire steering column, the steering wheel is vibrating up and down from the base that you're able to get out of this open air vehicle. I was shocked and blown away at the same time. And obviously these enclosures and under seats you're talking about, this is something that you guys kind of designed up yourself and that you offer to your customers, correct? Yeah, so we we have a lot of products that we offer by UTV Stereo. We have our own subwoofer enclosures. You know, we have amplifier mounting plates. We have uh, we have mounting plates for for head units like the Kicker KMC four and five. Um, we have rear camera kits. So if you want to put a rear camera on a side by side, we have options. Uh, another big thing that we do is battery kits. <clears throat> you know, we try okay. to set these cars up to where you can sit and you can play your stereo for hours. And we have dual battery kits that will allow this. So obviously, I'm, great. I'm glad you brought that up. So when you're dealing with a UTV, I mean, of course, there's different brands. And I'm sure you guys deal with the different models from the different brands. Realistically, how much charging capacity does any of these UTVs offer you? You know, on average, you're only working with about 30 amps coming out of the staters. So 
what we tell our customers is you're barely keeping your batteries charged while you're driving. And in some cases, your batteries are actually losing capacity if you're running a sound system and you're running LED lights. Like you can overpower that 30 amps pretty quick. So dual batteries means you get to play twice as long. And then when you sit with our isolated kits, you can drain the secondary battery, but always have that starting battery fully charged waiting so you can start the car and go. You know, absolutely, and I threw this up because uh, Andy McGill, he is a, an avid kicker fan. He's out there, he has his own channels that he does on Facebook and YouTube. He actually started the Kicker Club on Facebook, which kind of took, took off like a rocket. But Andy says, it's pretty hard getting an open air vehicle loud. Props yeah. to these guys, they must know a thing or two. And yeah, Andy, I have to agree with you on that. They definitely know a thing or two. When I was first introduced to them at the Sand Sports Super Show, uh, and that's out in uh, Orange County, California, there at the fairgrounds. Uh, this gold member vehicle, I was, I was blown away with, I mean, it, yeah, it was loud, but it sounded good loud. And of course, that was something that made me feel good. Look, it was all kicker gear that was making it happen. So yeah, these guys definitely know a thing or two about making UTV sound good. But these, more specifically, these under seat enclosures that you guys do, where I'm seeing four of these 10 inch uh, subwoofers in there, uh, which vehicles do you do this for and what made you go down that path and what do you make these enclosures out of? So primarily we we focus on the Can-Am X3 and the Polaris Razor. Okay. Those are, those are our, you know, desert, sand dune, forest vehicles that, that we kind of cater to. So the sub-enclosures for the Can-Am X3, those are made out of an expanded PVC plastic. So it's basically like a plastic MDF. Uh, it's very dense, it's extremely lightweight, um, and it's very durable. I mean, you, waterproof you'll especially. probably, you can put it underwater. I mean, you, you'd have to, you gotta crash the car before you're gonna break through these boxes. Um, and Kip, like you said, in an off-road vehicle in an open air environment, it is really hard to make good sounds. It's not okay. something you just, hop on Amazon and, you know, buy the cheapest thing you can find, hook it up, and all of a sudden you're, you're jamming. Like, you, you've got to put some thought into it. And that's, that's what we've spent the last, you know, six years perfecting is, is how to achieve that. And we've got some products here. We'd be happy to show you kind of just, you know, what we're all about, what we do, and let you see it firsthand. Ab yeah, we want to do that. Heck yes. yes. You know, I wanted to put up here, you know, regular guy audio, which I actually got that right because I always call him regular audio guy, so I finally got his <laughs> name right. So regular guy Just audio. See, it's a bad thing. You know, if car, home, and pro audio, and I know he meant dudes, we're not, you know, I, maybe he's trying to type diodes, I don't yeah, know. But I know he meant dudes. Get drunk together, magic happens, and deafness. <laughs> yes, regular guy audio. You're right about that. You know, that's kind of, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know, but the uh, the Marine, the, the KMTC9s and KMTC11s, and, or F if it's a flag yeah, mount. Right there. Yeah, it's this puppy right here. I know Ernie can't move to the cam or anything, but this is right here. Uh, these two products, they use compression loaded horns, and that's how you're able to get such great sound at such a long distance away with great volume. And the one area where you've probably heard compression loaded horn drivers, at least I know most of you have if you've ever been in a bar or a nightclub that has a system that's very loud they're all using folded cat folded horn cabinets for bass they're all using compression loaded horn drivers for the mid and high end and it's how you're able to get that really loud sound to project out at a larger distance and so like in a utv and a boat uh, a jeep with no top anything like that where you're trying to get really loud clean audio you, you just can't really get there with a conventional and i use the, the quotes conventional driver which is your typical dome tweeter which you know your titanium silk aluminum there's all the different materials but a dome type tweeter is just not going to cut through that noise and get you that really bright, clean sound that you're looking for, like My a three compression and a half dual tone, won't do that. It won't. It, it poor thing. It just can't get there, John. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's what the, T, the KMTC slash FC 911 do for you is it's a product that you can get really loud, good sound. And uh, without calling out any brand names, because it doesn't matter, I think we've got some of the finest sounding uh, speakers in that product category out there, bar none. Yeah, yeah keep and actually, on. To bring Go that ahead. up for the compression horn, our, our customers, they want good sound when they're driving but they also want good sound when they're parked, when they're at their camp Absolutely. Fire. And they want to hear that stereo when they're 20, 50, and even 100 feet away. And that's where a compression horn is going to make all the difference. 
again, the sensitivity on these, you know, 93 on the 9 inch and 94 dB, you know, mm -hmm. with 1 watt, 1 meter on the 11 inch, I mean. It's huge. Yeah, and then you run 300 watts of power to them, which is what they're rated. I mean, they are unbelievably loud, and the shape of that horn, that exponential horn, keeps them sounding good, because it's a kicker product. It's got to sound good. It can't just be loud. No, and real quick, uh, interrupt, because I noticed it's on the feed here. Just a, a verbal, let you guys know, we're right at about 8 o'clock. That means you got 30 minutes left before we shut down tonight's contest, which is kicker.fun forward slash UTV stereo. So if you haven't hit tonight's contest, you're just now tuning in the show, be sure you hit that link, enter that contest. That's for tonight's drawing. We will cut that off at 8.30 and announce the winner before 9 tonight when the show goes off the air. So please go enter that contest. You got 30 minutes. With that said, Chase, Sean, show us some of the stuff you were talking about. What You said you had some things that you wanted to show us. Let's do it. Bring it All on. Right, cool. Hey, they got their All own right. camera guy too, apparently. <laughs> I mean, you guys are set up. This is good. Yeah, we Man, are ready they to are go. prepared. We, this we is... had about two days' notice for the show, so remember that. Thank you, well, Trace. If you had, I can't give you any more notice, or else it'd be better than us. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this this is a masterpiece right here. This is this fits Polaris Razor. 2014 to current does not fit the XP Pro, so it's just basically the the 1000 Turbo and Turbo S platforms. This guy is designed to replace your glove box. It's for a 10 inch sub. It's got a sweet port on the side, and it's got a lot of airspace. There's some engineering it's in that. Sounds amazing. You take any subwoofer <clears throat> and put it in this box in a Polaris Razor you're going to be two to three times louder than anyone else. Um, this is fiberglass. Me, so, <clears throat> okay, so let me ask you a question. These products that you're showing right here, can anyone out there watching in the world, can they contact you and get this for their UTV, or do they have to come to your store to get it? No, we do. We sell online. Uh, you can go to our, our website, utvstereo.com. You can see all this. We have install videos. We have YouTube videos. <laughs> You can follow us on social media. You can see this in action. We we are an install shop. We are putting this stuff in day in and day out. We know it. We live it. We breathe it. We designed it. We back it. We're here for tech support. We know all about it. So when you guys say that, you know, we live it and we breathe it, th what's cool about that is every one of these enclosures you're building, probably the first one you built didn't work as well as the second one you built. And when you no. finally, you probably massaged and got to the point where this works, let's do this. I mean, I can tell you from this, we almost broke the car that we made <laughs> with expanded pump. That's awesome. I mean, we had to, we had to move fast to get it. Oh, <laughs> it was bad, but we got it out. I as soon as I saw him start laughing, I knew there had to be a story behind that one. Uh, oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's a two-part expanding foam is fun if you don't know what you're getting into. <laughs> it it can't oh, be yeah. free. So that enclosure, you just obviously uh, it's designed, for, you said, for a 10-inch round subwoofer uh, to go in that. If someone wants to order that enclosure from you on your website, what's the enclosure run? What's the cost on that? The subwoofer, the enclosure is $595. Okay. Um, they are pre-order. We... We don't have them in stock. We're usually back ordered, uh, usually about four to six weeks. Lately, we've been one to two weeks, so we're just trying to keep up with the demand right now. Sure, sure. Okay, what else you got to show us? Because I'll tell you what, that enclosure looks fantastic from here. It's it's awesome. It really sounds good. So what I'll tell you real quick, a few key points about it. The subwoofer fires down, so you're not going to get any vibrations on the plastic firewall. We Good. did plan that. You'll notice a lot of depth. So, Tom, if you scroll down, this kicker comp Q, this, this is the best sounding sub that we found works in this enclosure. Nice. We recommend the comp Q. You can also run the comp VX or the comp RT. The comp Q is, is definitely our top pick. Uh -oh. So if someone's looking to get the, the, the most out of that enclosure, you're saying the comp Q is definitely the way to go. Yep. We tune the port around the kicker lineup. It sounds beautiful. You'll notice it's ported out of the side. Typically in a Polaris Razor, your amplifiers are gonna be kind of right right next to slash above that port. So it will gotcha. actually help keep the amplifiers cool. 
<laughs> awesome. So Breathes some forced air cooling. Bit. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we, we did plan that, believe it or not. So yeah, that thing's awesome. So let me show you the, uh, the sub boxes for the X3. We actually have a few different options. Um, this is that uh, expanded PVC plastic I was telling you about. Very lightweight, very dense. So this is our down fire box. It fits perfectly under a can of seat. There's room for the adjuster bar, the gussets. Um, we have what's called our low profile box. Now keep in mind these sub boxes, you're only going to want to run a shallow mount sub. So probably talking comp RTs? Comp RTs sound awesome. They do very well in these smaller enclosures. Um, they're perfect. So the low pro is going to allow you to drop your seat down to the lower position and still maintain the sub box. Now those sub boxes to go water. underneath, those sub boxes go underneath the seat, is it fair to assume you actually have four different models that fit underneath each seat? Are they each different or are they all the same? They will be side specific. So you'll have okay. a front driver and a passenger. And then we also have our rear boxes, the driver and passenger specific as well. The rear okay. can be a little smaller. So typically we recommend starting the front. And if you want to run four subs, add the two in the back. Got it. That's kind of bang. <laughs> well, the one I heard that had the four tens in it, I couldn't believe there was that much base coming out of an open air vehicle. I, I was blown away. <laughs> so, and what we've learned is you want to go a little big in a side by side because what sounds great in your garage versus 50 miles an hour are two different things. And that's where two subwoofers, you know, sitting in your garage at home or by the campfire aren't too bad. But once you start driving, you'll want them. Absolutely. So I'm going to throw this up here real quick. We got Weber fan one, two, three, four. He's asking, he says, wish I had a razor. It'd have these guys throw in everything they could. So apparently someone's impressed with what they're seeing. Awesome. Very cool. Thanks. I, know I am. So what else you got? Let's keep on going through. I know you guys got a lot of stuff there and I want to cover it all. All right. So KMTC9, awesome speaker. We love it. I love compression horn speakers. When I found out you guys were making these, and, and learn that Steve has a passion for the loudspeaker. I was thrilled. The first time I heard him down in the at your facility, a uh, few years back in the demo, I mean, you guys have a huge warehouse in the back and a pair of these. It was awesome. But we, for a boat, in some side by sides, this clamp system works. We get into custom builds. We have spare tire racks, fire extinguishers, whip mounts, rugged antenna, you name it. Things start getting a little crammed. So we actually designed a custom mount for side by side. And you're going to notice it's a heck of a lot smaller. And this wow, will actually is... bolt in. You'll basically remove the kicker clamps and replace it with the UTV stereo clamp system. And these are very strong. And you're, so you're that talking basically, a very thin clamp that's gonna fit in between whatever you're trying to work around. Right, so that I can tell from looking, I mean, that is a UTV specific bracket right there. It's using that much thinner style, but you guys obviously have engineered to have the strength that needs to hold that speaker on there, because that speaker is not light. No, it's that sucker's gotta be 30 pounds. <laughs> I'm thinking it's like 33 pounds on the 11. Yep. But it's got a massive magnet inside, and that's why they sound so amazing. They do sound amazing. I, it's funny you say that. I mean, you, you're correct. Steve Irby's passion. I mean, when he started the company back in 1973, his whole thing was pro sound, pro audio. That's Steve's background. That's his passion. And I can tell you, it was a special fun for him to be able to take what he understands and knows about pro sound and merge it into this product you have, which is the KMTC product and the FC product, because they are loud. And it, you're right. They do fill an entire warehouse with sound, but they sound really darn good doing it, which is a testament to Steve and the experience experience he has designed this stuff for so long. Yep, very cool. So what else you got? Let's keep on going. I want to see it all. Okay, so KMC4, you want to put this guy into a side-by-side? -side? We have some options. For a Polaris Razor, 
This will mount it um, in the center pocket. You basically remove the OEM center pocket and put this guy in. And you've got a mount for the KMC4. So this is gonna be your Polaris Razor piece. Uh, this is also built for the Polaris Razor. This is an under dash mount. So guys that don't wanna lose their pocket or they have rugged radios or intercoms or whatnot, they can put this below. And this will go on the top of the dash on a Can Am X3. It's molded to fit. That is really slick. That is cool. So, and I mentioned earlier about backup cameras. If you yes, if you're running the uh, KMC5, you'll have the option to add a backup camera. Um, I don't have it out here, but it's on our website. We have a full kit with the mount. Um, camera, everything's included, um, but we also have a reverse trigger here, and this will actually, in in these side by sides, there's actually not a reverse wire that you can tap into to get a signal. So your, sure. your head unit's not going to know when you're actually in reverse. So we designed this; it's adjustable, um, and you'll actually position this right under the shifter link linkage. So when it's in reverse, it'll click down, activate it, and that will turn your camera on instantaneously on the KMC5. So there's not a here. You know, one of the things, and it's real obvious, I mean, where we're at just right now with what you guys do is, yeah, you're doing business with a brand that makes good audio products, but in a UTV, it's not like there's a six and a half inch hole to mount a speaker. It's not like there's a lot of room to mount an amplifier. It's not like, like you just said, that you get a reverse wire supplied to you. Uh, if there's no room to put a subwoofer, there's no space to just drop in a pre-made kicker, you know, enclosure like you typically do in a car, truck, van, or SUV. So you guys are not just focused on the gear that you get, but it looks to me like you guys do a lot of engineering to get what you need to actually do the work in a very unique environment, which is a UTV. Yeah, we, we want to make sure that if there's an option that one of our customers wants or one of our dealers wants, that we can offer it. You know, we want to make solutions. Because we, you know, when we have guys drop off cars and they're throwing a ton of money at them, they want all the features, they want all the bells and the whistles, and they want them to work and be functional, you know, our, uh, our minds start going crazy and we're like, all right, we got to figure this out, we got to make this happen. So real quick, I want to continue through what you've got on display there, but some I got to bring this up. Sergio yeah. Morales, he's asking, what's up with the Cyan XB behind you? <laughs> let's go check it out. That's my personal. I mean, he's, a, he's asking, so I thought, what the heck, let's throw the comment up, see what you got. We're in the middle of building this. Um, it's got the quad box in it now. Um, we're doing it's a nice. TC-11s um, between the back seat uh, belts we took out. Um, we got two 1800s running it. Um, seven batteries. We got a 1202s that's going to run our PC11. Um, full KS system up front. I got the two inch the tweeters that put the six. Um, it's just going to be loud, as loud as we can make it. <laughs> oh, it's going to sound good too. It's not just going to be loud. <laughs> it, it sounds it's, amazing. It's it, pretty crazy. It's so impressive. And it's so, like Sean was saying, Sean, uh, come on back here. We just. Sean just started this project a couple of weeks ago, I mean, yeah. maybe a month or so. Month so it's it's still a work in progress, but we were hoping someone would ask. Um, yeah, we're going to do a set of KMTC 11s back here on a they're custom gonna, bar. We're going to hang up a bar here um, from the two TC 11s here. And I do one with the white ones so we can light everything up, whatever color we want. And the, the speakers actually change from white to blue, to, you know, because they're a white reflective speaker. Sure, sure. But it's got, um, I don't even know, maybe a ton of dynamo, uh, not dynamo, but sound deadening, we call it. Um, For sure. In the car, it's, it's done right. It's it's actually a Scion BB. It's not an XE, it's from Japan. It comes with these uh, crazy speakers that Pioneer made. That you can only get them was, from Japan. I was noticing that. It's like, that does not look like something I've seen. <laughs> Yeah, it was, a, it was a full build from Japan, so um, I picked it up as a hobby a daily driver, and Tracy said, hey, let's make it loud, so I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, that uh, is crazy. It's full carbon fiber, rear deck. Oh, nice. What's the...
You know, 25 hertz delay saying, where's the turbocharged Pinto? Well, I don't know. They're working on that somewhere else. We did put the kicker up front, too. It's powered by kickers. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is all GDM password, um, carbon fiber mode. Um, it's slowly but surely getting there. But like I said, it's only a month into it so far. So. Yeah. Well, the, the engine you, looks like it's wrapped in 66 Mustang trunk liner, that, you know, that pattern. <laughs> if, if you pull that cover on the front off, there's a couple of bearded dragons underneath there, and they just run on a track belt. <laughs> <That's how laughs> I only said one of the guys here, he's got a bearded dragon, so I had to make that comment for him. So, uh, Rob Sanchez, any chance for a solo X quad? Well, there's Rob, always a chance if there's you always it. a chance. Um, the thing is with it right now, and of course, I know these guys can testify, a, a quad box currently with L7 uh, drivers in with L7Rs is about 160 pounds. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty big. Uh, we're almost reaching, I mean, those have to ship out on a pallet. They have to go truck freight. They can't go UPS or FedEx. So just imagine four L7X pounds. woofers at 70 pounds Roughly. a shot. So it'd be looking at uh, 280. 280 pounds and just woofers plus the box. We'd have an enclosure all said and done. It'd be probably 400 pounds. Yeah, 370, 380, easy. So I, I won't tell you we won't ever do one, but uh, it'd probably be easier for you to get the specs from us and have the enclosure built there and then just order four woofers and drop them in. So and we'll sell you four. But you never know what we're going to do. You never know. I mean, we got to get the woofers out first. We'll talk enclosures later. So we got four. Why not eight? You know, there's a lot of people here in the feed that have asked about that sign. So thank you for going over that and going through it. I had no idea you guys even had that, and we're going to get to do that. So that's a special treat to have on the show. Um, it, it looks like it's going to sound amazing. It's awesome. And we, we plan to have it finished by a grand opening at our new facility, uh, which is going to be October 9th. Uh, here in Mesa, Arizona. And we're going to be showing it off there. Kicker's going to be out there. Tracy and Steve are going to be joining us. So yeah, that's that's kind of the deadline. It's got to be ready. And, and Sean, do you have to do different springs? For the yeah, um, I had to actually <laughs> raise the car because the box was so heavy and all the batteries and the sound deadening. Um, the car came lowered, and by the time we put everything in, we went to move it, and it wouldn't move because of the tire breath. So... <laughs> we had to literally raise the car up about three inches, and as you can see, it's still on the ground because of all the weight. We were, we're tucking it pretty hard. Man, that is crazy. You know, the more you guys are talking, and uh, kind of touch on that again, I know you guys are working on opening a new store, a new location, and, and the grand opening, when is that? Is it the 9th, you said? October 9th? October 9th. Um, anyone's invited. It's a free event. We're going to have a ton of giveaways. Kicker's going to be give away, giving away some gear as well. Uh, we're going to have free raffles. Uh, we're going to have probably 20 to 30 vendors out there just kind of hanging out, having fun, showing off their product. Um, we'll have food. It'll be a good time. So what I'm kind of thinking at this point, I know you said that uh, Tracy's going to be there, and you mentioned that Mr. Irby's probably going to show up. That'd be cool. Um, I'm thinking maybe the crew here on Unmasked Studios, maybe we need to show up with some cameras. That'd be awesome. We'd love to have you. Absolutely. Um, it's, you know, for us, we've, in the building we're in, we're, we're so confined and we've grown so fast and, you know, our customer base is so, has grown so much. We need this building. I mean, we've, just like Steve starting out in that one car garage, I mean, that's how I feel right now. So we can't wait. This building, 17,000 square feet. Uh, we don't, we're not sharing the parking lot with anyone, so we're going to actually have room to breathe, maneuver these cars, test these audio systems, and you know, not be upset with neighbors. Yeah, I was going to say to annoy the neighbors. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, one of the guys here, he's like, yes, yeah, show up kicker. There's been a lot of guys here in the feed. They're asking to see video on it and things like that. I think we need to have that conversation. Maybe we'll come out to your grand opening. And we'll just do a live broadcast right from your new store and everything. I think that would be pretty cool. I got another yeah. reason why we should go. It's what? my 25th anniversary, October 9th with Boom. Kicker. There you go. <laughs> Thought I'd rub that in. So, <laughs> so a question from Tony, he's asking, is the Scion on coils or bags? It's, it's on coils. It's, it's all coiled out. It's actually on the ground from the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> it drives that way. It drives that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, someone up here, 
You know, Michael, uh, Michael Nihas, I think, I hope I got your name, last name right there. Pre apologize if I don't, Michael. I need two Solo X10s ASAP. Uh, Michael, we are working as fast as we can to get those new drivers to market. Trust me, we want to get them out there. Lots of people are excited about that. Uh, it won't be next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, so the second Tuesday in July, we will incorporate an L7X update on that show, and we will talk about all things Solo X family, L7X, and give you an update of where we are at on the entire project at that point, so be sure to tune in. We'll do that, not, not on the sixth show, but it would be the uh, 13th, is that right? Yeah, it'd be the 13th. So we'll cover that on the show on the 13th. Um, let's get back to uh, where you guys were at in the lineup as gear, because I'd like for you to kind of walk through everything else you had on there. And while you're getting to that point, I want to let everyone know, we are down to the last 10 minutes to enter okay. tonight's drawing. So be sure you go hit the link. It's kicker.fun forward slash the name of our guest store that's on tonight, UTV Stereo. Go hit that link, and I'll get you entered in tonight's drawing. We close it right at 8.30 Central Time, and then we will pull and announce winners before we go off the air before 9 o'clock. So be sure you hit that. you got about 10 minutes left. So with that said, let's get back to you guys. Uh, before we go down the rest of the product on the table, hit me again real quick. Uh, actually, I'm going to have Ernie um, bring up my computer as an asset, if you will, please. So, guys, I've actually got up on the screen, as you can see, it's actually your website uh, with the grand opening party October night. So is this a, an actual uh, photo of your new shop, or is this kind of like yeah. a rendering? What do you got going on here? Uh, it's, it's a rendering, but that's, that's, that's the building right there. Looks nice. It looks gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here. You guys have a fantastic looking website. So obviously when we were talking earlier about the products you guys offer, uh, you think anyone can find you at utvstereo.com. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and make sure I'm, uh, not, I'm saying what I actually know. There's your phone number so they can reach out and contact you. It's 480-616-2299. And then your email address is info at utvstereo.com. Uh, is there anything I'm missing on this as far as people to actually reach out and find you right now? No, the website has a lot of information. Call us, email us. That, that's great. I mean, we, you, can, you can follow us on Facebook, send a message on Facebook. Um, you know, we're, we're on there all day, every day. So, yeah. Well, this is fantastic. Ernie, go ahead and go back. I'm going to switch back to StreamYard. That way you can have the uh, never-ending mirror effect. There we go. <laughs> that was good timing, Ernie. That was great. Almost like he was listening to you. I just want to make sure that, that people had an idea of where to go, find you guys, how to reach out and contact you, because it's not just the kicker gear, but it's you guys make some very unique enclosures and mounting brackets, very obvious from the time we spend here on the show tonight, and I want them to know how they can reach out and ask you questions to get a hold of these products. So with that said, take it away and show us what else you want to show us on the table of fun. All right. So we have some kick panel enclosures here. Uh, these are for the Can-Am X3. They'll go down in your footwell area. Um, anytime you can put a speaker, you know, in the right place, in the right enclosure, you know, sealed, you're going to get the best mid base, the best, uh, the best experience. So these, these absolutely like the Can-Am X3. These are awesome. Um, Cage pods. So again, we, we always have to fit too many speakers in too small of a place, and there's just too much aftermarket accessories on these, these aftermarket cages, or even these stock cages. So we try to keep things as discreet as possible. So same idea, we have our own custom clamps. Um, we have our own speaker enclosure. You can see these guys right here. Um, pretty easy to use. Um, they fit the kicker speakers great. We can put, they'll they're actually pre-drilled. Kickers will go right in them. Um, you've got your clamp. You can change your clamp size anywhere from, I think, 1.25 inch up to 4 inch, I want to say. So oh, very wow. versatile um, on the clamp wow. sizes if needed. 1.75 and 2 inch, those are going to be the most common. Or 1.75, 1.85, sorry. Uh, you got your rubber grommet for your wire. So... Yeah, just a real small, cool-looking um, functional cage pod right here. Another item that we we have these are replacement panels for the Can Am X3. You're going to know what the fact that the rocker switch is right here. This basically is a drop panel. 
in the upper dash of the Wow, so you guys have actually gone to town and, and molded up a whole new dash piece just to get the size speakers you want up in the right location. That's amazing. That's dedication. <laughs> so, thank you, Kip. That's what we're all about. Um, keep in mind, if you have a Can Am X3, we like to double these up. So we will run the kick panels <laughs> down low and the six and a half up high. So you have four six and a halfs in your front stage. Sounds awesome. More is gooder, right? Well, like you were saying earlier, you know, it's, it's one thing that a system sounds good when you're sitting there parked still with the engine off, but once you get that engine running and you're running across the country doing what you want to do, you need a lot more output, a lot more audio so that you can actually hear it at speed. And so I can definitely see why you would promote putting one up top, one on the bottom. You need it. It's not just a, it's not a luxury at that point. It's just do you want to hear it or do you not want to hear it when you're at motion? Exactly. Yep. And then it looks like you got, is that, is that one of, they're in the background, is, is that a power bar? So, let's jump right to this. Might as well. So, kicker, I, I had you guys, this thing's phenomenal. We've, we've installed every sound bar under the sun. They all sound like a sound bar. This one, I have to say, actually got us, got the whole shop impressed. We put one in today for the first time, I'm going to show you over here. Absolutely, go for it. Man, I hope everyone out there tuning into the feed is enjoying this because having these guys from UTV Stereo, you know, go through all the unique products that they make to get great audio in one of these and uh, walking us through their shop, I hope this is an experience that you all appreciate and that this is the kind of content you like seeing on a Kicker Unmasked Live weekly event. And, and uh, you know, guys, I can't, Sean and Chase, I can't thank you enough for putting this together and doing this for us. This is amazing. Yeah, it's, I mean, we have a passion, we have a love for good sound and audio. Um, so we're, we love trying new stuff. We love it when, you know, I know Kicker's got a lot of stuff in the works. I, I, I don't know how public that is, so I won't say anything, but. <laughs> We've always got a lot of stuff hey, in the works. Hey, hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Before you say that, hold on. So, so as he said that, I got to give you the patented, and now we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back to our regularly trademark. scheduled program. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah, you, you guys are doing awesome. Um, a, a few things I just wanted to point out about this, uh, this power bar that I like personally. Um, it actually had a good amount of bass to it. Most sound bars do not have bass. I mean, they, right. they barely have mid bass. This, this was well-rounded. Um, that's probably my, my biggest, you know, pro on this item. Uh, I really like the EQ setting right here. Most sound bars, you get what you get. You can adjust the EQ in your phone, but that only gets you so far. This this EQ setting actually really changed the sound in a good way. You know, to get if you want vocals, if you want a more bass, it works great. Yeah, they spent a lot of time setting those EQs. They did. And Aaron and Steve that. spent a ton of time tuning on that. And bringing that up, I wanted to bring this comment on the screen. 25 Hertz to Life is asking, do stuff for golf carts. And I don't know if he's asking you guys specifically at UTV Stereo, which he probably is. But at the same time, to let you know, the power bars, the PB1 and the PB2, we also offer an optional square tubing mount adapter for those. So you can put the PB1 and PB2 in a golf car or any of those smaller vehicles, electric vehicles that use that square Square tubing setup. These are designed to do that as well. So hopefully that answers your question, 25. And then please add to that anything you want. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's perfect for golf cart, side by side, Jeep Wrangler, tailgate. I mean, it's like I said, it's pretty impressive. You guys are gonna love Vespa. it. We, your best. There you go. <laughs> we have some, by the way. We, you know, we pre-ordered them quite a while ago because I. I knew you guys were going to do well by it. So if anyone's got to have one today, give us a shout. We've got some. I'm sure they won't last long. But, uh, yeah, great job, Kicker. You guys did awesome. So there's a great plug. As we told you in the beginning of the show, we have actually shipped the KPB1 and the PB2. We have none at Kicker.com, but they're at our dealers. Here's one of our dealers, and he's got them in stock. So if you're looking for a Kicker Power Bar, definitely hit these guys up. Either give them a phone call, uh, send them an email, or reach out to them on social. As he said, they're on social all day. Uh, I'm sure they'll help take care of you on that. No questions Better asked. Better do it quick if you want them, because we know they're not going to last. Yeah, no, these, you guys did a great job. The clamp system's awesome, by the way. 
Thank you for that. I mean, we did a lot of work on this, and it's it's refreshing and it makes us feel really good that a, an actual dealer who uses the product not only likes the way it sounds as a tip, tip kicker sound, which is what we go for, but that the uh, functionality, the clamping, and everything is good. We, I know our engineers really, really focused on it to get uh, a home run piece, and I'm glad to hear it's working. And we're not Apple. We listen to the consumer. Well, we try. <laughs> <laughs> well, we actually want to sell this. Soundbar, sometimes we, we always... You know, we let them know what they're getting into. It's hard to sell them with confidence. This we can actually sell with confidence. Right, absolutely. You know, the uh, power bar is very enticing. Here, I'm going to bring this up. Not 25 hertz life. Power bar is very enticing for my future system build. How loud? Uh, this is what I'm going to say to answer that question, and, and maybe you've got something to add on to it. Uh, I haven't put an SPL meter in front of one of these, so I can't tell you from a meter standpoint how loud are they. I can say that the different EQ modes that are built in, like if you need it to get loud, if you put it into vocal mode, it gets pretty obnoxiously loud. Oh, yeah. uh, you put it into sound quality mode, uh, you're not going to get quite as loud, but like they were saying, it's amazing how much full sound, i.e. bass, you get out of one of our power bars. Uh, you got anything to tee into that? Um, it's plenty loud enough, I can tell you that much. I mean, you'll be able to hear this while you're driving. Uh, is it going to be a set of KMTC 11s? No. But is it going to be enough? Yes. I can promise you that. I, I, don't, I don't see any disappointment of anyone that buys this product at all. And here's a little remote, by the way. We got it on the steering wheel. There you go. There's the remote. Uh, that is fantastic that you got that on there. Man, your camera guy, he is on his game tonight. <laughs> Look at him. He's zooming right in. He's getting on it. Are you giving him instructions or are you just that good? He's, what's going on, guys? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and, that, and that's Dom, right? That's your social guy, Dom, correct? He runs all that's our awesome. social media. He's been awesome. He does. He runs the website, all our artwork, you name it. If it's media, he's done. He's our brand manager, too, so he's been awesome. And he's doing That's all this awesome. on an iPhone, and he can't see what he's pointing at. So, <laughs> Well, I'd say he's doing a pretty darn good job. I'll he give really him props is. for that. He's doing a great job. And, Dom, cool. thanks for sending some uh, time with us this evening and making sure we're getting this all out here because uh, this, is, this is great stuff. I and mean, you guys do more than even I knew. I can now see why Tracy is so excited about what you guys do on a daily basis. Um, it, it's your Hey, take it away. Uh, first thing I want to do, cool. take us to where you want, go over to the next topic. Uh, while you're doing that, let everyone know the contest has now officially ended. Uh, tonight's uh, contest is over. We will definitely draw the winners and announce them in the next 22 minutes before the show ends. Uh, so stay tuned, or 27 minutes. Sorry, I got the time wrong there. Uh, but the contest is now closed. But the MSE giveaway, the one for that, which is kicker.fun forward slash learn SQ, that's the one with Mark Eldridge and Mobile Sound Stage Engineering. If you've not entered that contest, that link is active until midnight, July 5th. Be sure you go and hit that one. So with that said, back to our good friend Chase at UTV Stereo. What you got there? Let's go. All right, let's talk batteries. Can't have a stereo system without a dead battery. If we get one complaint, it's usually related to a dead battery. So we we recommend any UTV owner invest in batteries, replace them on a regular basis. They don't last forever, um, and you have to take care of them. You know, you've got to use a battery tender, maintainer. You know, you can't put your your vehicle in the garage for six months, pull it out, and print the stereo. There's there's a chance probably going to have a little battery, so. Exactly. Let's get to the fun part. Um, Can-Am X3 here. This is our dual battery kit. So what it's designed to do is add an AGM battery to the existing stock battery. So you're going to double up your storage capacity. It's going to come with the wire harness and everything. You've got a battery isolator. It's a simple system that works very well. So when you're parked, you can drain your stereo battery down the that starting battery fully charged ready, waiting ready to start the car and you crank the tunes up and go ride. So dual battery kit for the X3. We have a similar setup for the Polaris Razor. Um, these are our UTV stereo platinum series batteries by the way. Uh, they're all AGM. Uh, they're all built for uh, amp power. So these, these are going to be batteries that are going to be specifically designed Stereos playing longer, your whips on, your accent lights, um, you know, keep the party going. That's what we want to do. Um, but yeah, so same concept wire kit, isolation system, mount. This is going to add to your starting battery of the Polaris Razor. So we usually recommend 
if you have a starting a stock battery and it's working, add a second battery to it, and you'll have more capacity. And eventually, when the stock battery you know calls it a day, then you can replace that. But we typically recommend adding a dual battery kit first. Like we said earlier, 30 amps of standard is not going to get you much. You're going to want more battery. Power. This is the big battery upgrade for the Can Am X3. This, this is your stock battery size in a Can Am X3. You can replace it with one large battery and go from 18 amp hours to 55 amp hours. Gotcha. So, big increase in storage capacity. So, that's a great option. This is our newest. Uh, kit to the lineup. This is for the Can-Am Defender. And I know I said earlier we cater to X3 and Razor, but the Defender is an awesome car. Um, we teamed up with an online retailer on this build to kind of design this kit. Uh, and this is our newest uh, battery kit and battery lineup. The Can-Am Defender is what this one's for. It's on our website too. So besides the battery lineup that you got there, and obviously it takes power to make power, there is no free ride. And uh, it's great that you're doing that with a battery isolator so that you can drain down, uh, I like to call it the house battery, so you can drain the house battery down, run your stereo system, and you still got your starting battery there to get you going again. Um, are there any, obviously you guys are, you're definitely scientists over there, mad scientists who are designing these parts and these systems to get around the limitations of a UTV where there isn't a place to mount a speaker or a sub or let's do this. Are you guys working on anything that'll possibly add higher charging capacity at some point? So there are some companies that make alternator kits, which bump you, I think 70 to 90 amps, which is a huge difference. And we, on some of our bigger builds, we do recommend them. They're a little pricey right now. They're kind of new to market, but we've seen them come down about 50% on some newer companies. I don't know if we'll ever get into that side of things. Hopefully someone else does sooner than later. It'll only help us out, but sure. really, if you set your stereo up correctly and your lighting and everything's wired the way it should be and you charge your batteries before you go out, this is enough. You know, if you got to be the guy that's, like I said, puts it up in the cabin for six months and pulls it out and just wants to start and go, you probably might want to buy a couple thousand dollar alternator to do that. Otherwise, <laughs> best in batteries, take care of them. And then you can, with the right sound system, you can play for hours with the key off and still start the car and go. So saying that it'll play for that, I just, I'm going to throw this comment up and see if we can answer this for this guy. It's 25 hertz. He's asking, which battery can handle 2,000 watts RMS? So with the systems you've laid out there as far as battery, uh, what do you have there that would fit into that, or do they? So, you know, the more, the more wattage you put into your stereo system, the, sh the, the shorter time frame that it's going to actually run. So the bigger the stereo, um, like this part here, for example, gold member we were talking about earlier. Absolutely. You're not going to be able to see the batteries because they're under the seat, but this car has three batteries. So we have one dedicated starting battery, and then we have two uh, accessory stereo batteries. And with the big sound system, I mean, it, it'll go for about four to six hours, and I think we'll run in 4,000 watts to give you an idea. Uh, so it's definitely doable. You just, you know, you're going to want to use a good amplifier, a good kicker amplifier. You know, we're excited to see the next line of power sports amps. I know kickers in the works on. Um, that's that's really the key to it. Just, you know, put the right power wire in, set your system up correctly, set your gains correctly, have your own loads correct. I mean, it's kind of the basics. Technology has come a long ways. Sounds where, familiar. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's maybe it's easy for us, but we, you know, we, uh, we don't have too many problems. I mean, we, yeah. So what I have to do, since you said what you said, I've got to look at the camera with my patented 
uh, Wink, <laughs> since you brought up uh, power sports amplifiers. Uh, yeah, you know, new power sports amplifiers would be pretty cool, wouldn't they? I uh, hope there's some coming soon. I'm just going to let that <laughs> slide, but guess but, we're not. Uh, you can't. <laughs> the, the comment feed, they're already all over it. you got to go back to that <laughs> comment that we were snickering at a minute ago. They're already all over it. You know, real quick, uh, and I don't know if you can, because obviously uh, with copyright and everything, we don't want anybody to shut this video down unless you've got some just YouTube or Facebook music. Someone was asking about the gold uh, car there, if you could fire it up and they could hear it. Is that even possible? Uh, it's actually not. It's not running right now. Okay. Uh, we're actually testing a few things in it, so it's it's not going to play right now. If I knew, I would have had it ready, and it will be playing at our October show. Well, well, don't blame Tracy. I know you only got a two-day window notice, but it was something that was really last minute where we were looking to bring someone on the show, and Tracy said, I got the guys. And Tracy was so enthusiastic about it. And, you know, obviously uh, being able to meet you at that one event at the uh, Sand Sports Super Show, he was right. I, I knew you were the guys. But even from then, you guys have come a long way in what you offer for UTV and all the special enclosures and adapters and brackets and things that you guys have. That that is just amazing that you guys have all that to offer because it's not just the gear from brand X, Y, or Z, but you got to have a way to put it in and make it work right. And it looks to me like you guys have that figured out and you're definitely focused on making sure you get things to fit and sound correct in that unique vehicle. Yeah, they're definitely a solution stop. You know, you can only, you can only build a custom part so many times to where you're just going to have to go to production. And that's, that's what really kind of put us down this road is we were, you know, making music by hand with a jigsaw and a piece of ABS plastic and gluing them together. And that just takes way too long and it's not efficient to where we're, all right, we, we're doing this every day. We've got to figure out a long-term solution. You know, and, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot, and so I hope you don't take it that way, but I did have a question that came in the feed that seemed like a good question, so I'm going to ask. Uh, obviously, the, the special enclosures you make for subwoofers and for speakers and, like, even the dash piece that you make for the, the Maverick, are those strictly something that you sell to the end user, or do you guys offer those parts through a dealer program so other kicker dealers can buy them as a, a part or something like that? H how do you guys operate that? Uh we, we offer it all. So Consumer Direct, we have dealers, we have dealer programs. On our website at the bottom, uh, there's a section to become a dealer. There's a dealer application there. Um, so yes, if you are a kicker dealer and you see something that's going to help you succeed with your customers, we want to help you 100%. <laughs> Okay, so two things. First, the reason I'm laughing, Tony, the gold side-by-side -side looking shinier than Kip's forehead. Thanks for the shout-out, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad to know that my chrome dome at least has some competition out there. That's awesome. Uh, and, and, and the second thing is we did have a, and he is a kicker dealer up in Utah, Mike Craner, uh, and he asked that question if you guys had a dealer program. So uh, there are a lot of guys who join this feed who are dealers, and so it's good to know that they can reach out to you through that link on your webpage, and they can ask that question, and you can get it on a dealer program. So that's and good we to know. Work together. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Mike, call us. We're we're friends with everyone. We we want to be here to help, and nothing but. So we're coming up here. I'm watching the clock. I really tried to keep our show right at 90 minutes, and we still got some time to burn here. Um, do you guys have anything else? in your store because I wasn't expecting to get the sign but is there any other product or any other vehicles that you'd like to show us while we've got you on camera here tonight uh, let's, uh... we could test out the subwoofer and the special edition box ooh he said special edition box he did I heard it for the razor yeah All right. did you say those enclosures are fiberglass it, we're going to show you the the Razor fiberglass sub enclosure. Man, Dom is on point tonight with the camera. He's like, I'm gonna get it. Hold on, I'll get it in there. Wait a minute. Hold on. He's got. Oh a yeah, we're gonna get some light for you guys. <laughs> that sure Dom, you're like doing a, a great job, man. I appreciate you it's more than you know. Thanks for doing this. Oh, thank you guys. I'm having a blast. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a comp Q sitting yes, up in there. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. We're gonna get her moving. Let me link up to the Bluetooth. Give me a sec. So it's almost like a cushion if you do get in an accident. You know, yeah, like th I don't know if that sober would make that good of a cushion, John, but I'll tell you what. It's got good suspension. You are our in-house <laughs> test dummy. We'll let you give it a yeah, shot. I'm just a dummy sometimes. <laughs> no, <but>. not that. <laughs>
but I will. I'll try it just for fun. I, I know you will. That's why I'm very cautious on what I challenge you with. So there's. So Mike, I just threw your comment up, obviously. Thanks, I definitely will. Yeah, Mike, reach out to these guys, hit their website, that's uh, utvstereo.com. And like he said, they do have an application. If you are a legit dealer and you're looking to get in on some of the stuff that they do, they can obviously help you out, so uh, hit them up. And they've got that financing program, 100% down, no payments, no interest. I love those programs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There it is. That is awesome. Thank you for playing that. That's awesome that you could do that for us. It's almost you know, teasing since we can't actually hear it. <laughs> it is. And here, I wanted to bring this comment up because. Uh, you know, first, I can't say thank you enough for you guys getting on the show with us tonight, giving us a full walk through everything you do. Th this is more than I was expecting, and it's a treat for me, and I know it's a treat for our guests who tune in. But Tony did a real good job here summing it up. He said, it's really cool to see a dedicated UTV audio shop that's willing to engineer great products for great sound in that environment, rather than just slapping some speakers on the cage. So I think that is a great testament. I mean... And that's really, you know, watch what you guys do there. You guys have gone out of your way and you're engineering enclosures, you're engineering bracket solutions, you're engineering all these things so that you could get a safe, solid mounted system in one of these unique vehicles, but yet also get great sound out of it at the same time because I know sometimes it's real easy to have that here hold my beer moment and not worry about safety and things like that. They just want to get out and have fun, but it looks like you guys are engineering some stuff that not only is going to sound good, but it's going to be engineered to bolt in safely so that, uh, you know, if you do you happen to pull a, a kip, you're safe. <laughs> I haven't rolled one for a while yet. Have I've, you? I've only rolled one once. I mean, you know, it's just one time thing. I, I found out why Polaris roll cages are called one and done. Okay. Well, we can. Uh, we'll show you guys our pro real quick on around the sales floor if that's cool. Let yeah, let's Absolutely. do it. We got time. Let's do it. All right. We'll push it right up to the, the cutoff time, then we'll draw our winners, leave you on here. You, you, as a matter of fact, let you guys just hang on. We'll draw the winners while you're with us. Sounds good. All right. Get some lights on in here. I don't know, Brad. Here it is. It's looking good. That's looking good. Hey, there's a marine display. Wow. Okay. Don't, don't look at that part. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the, the part that shows you sold the amplifiers and we don't have any yet? Yeah. Pretty much well, right. we, this, this happened two weeks ago, so let me say that much at least. We held on to them as long as we could. You know, so we had a really nice change. pontoon boat come in the shop, and he had to have kicker amplifiers and the T. We did, we did four T C nights. Sounds nice. awesome. That has to be awesome. Yeah, don't feel bad about that, man. We know, uh, we, you know, trust us, we're doing everything we can to get marine ants back in stock. It's been an interesting 12 months. Well, plus those were the older versions, so the newer True. ones are even He's more He's just better. ready to put the new one in. Exactly. He's just getting <laughs> the prep work done ahead of time. That's the way I see it. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's Look, been a up some new roll cages. Crazy couple of years. So <clears throat> this kind of shows, well, you know, the the upper dash mounts we were talking about. Some okay, samples. sure. You can see, Dom, if you scroll in, like these are some amplifier plates that go that fit inside the dash. Some different head unit mounts that we offer. You can also see the rear camera system right here. We were talking about. It Absolutely. integrates right into the stock harness for power. Yeah, and then like you were here. saying, if you're, if, if you're running, say, a KMC5, which has that input for it, and then you put that uh, special adapter that you've got so you know when it's in reverse, it's automatic. When you throw it in reverse, you get that right up on your screen. Yeah, board rocker switch. We, we do offer that as well. So you can actually flip a switch. Some guys do both. 
if you're anything like me, when I was 16, 17, you know, outfitting my first new car, you threw every gadget you could into that car because it made you feel like you were the captain of your own spaceship. I had switches <laughs> and knobs and stuff for every, I'll tell you, I was so crazy as a teen. I actually, back then, you could go to a place called Radio Shack. Remember those places? I had one of those key locks where you put the key in and turn it on. And I actually put a key on my stereo. So to turn on the stereo in my first car, you'd have to put the key in and unlock the stereo. I mean, it was, it was totally James Bond, but I was digging it. Every time you swip that, you, I'm throwing out a smoke screen. I'm turning on my stereo. It was fun. And we're also talking about the guy that put 21 alarm sirens on one car with a standard car battery for a backup. <laughs> too much is just enough. <laughs> yeah, right. When it's too much, it's just right. Well, I don't know what else we can add to this. We need to get to our giveaways. I want to keep you guys with us here, but man, I'll tell you what, you awesome. guys are definitely on your game. I know why Trace is as excited about you guys being a kicker dealer, and I feel it uh, just watching what you guys do. I think we need to have a serious discussion with Ernie and the guys back here, and let's have a talk. I think we need to be out there for your grand opening October 9th. We need to do a live feed from your new store. We can spend your budget. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's, well, it's, it's not my budget. It's everybody's budget. Exactly. Just spend it. You know, it's got to, got to do something with those marketing dollars. Hey, Might as well do this. That's a good cause, though. So with that said, you guys mind hanging around while we draw some winners for tonight? Yeah, we're not going anywhere. All right, let's do this. Mr. Bill Brown, Bill I Brown. know that you have got some winners there in the back that you've drawn. Am I correct? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Right he, he, he gave me the fire away. So I'm looking here tonight. Third place, folks, on tonight for third place. If you are our lucky third place winner, you're going to get a set of EB300 wireless earbuds. You're going to get a couple of kicker koozies so you can keep your favorite beverage, whether it's tea or twisted lemonade or whatever you may happen to like, or twisted lemonade tea. Ooh, that might be good. And you're going to get one of the gray kicker unmasked live t-shirts. That's for third place. Second place, we're going to throw you the exact same prize package. And then for first place, grand prize, it's going to be the koozies. It's going to be the limited edition black Unmasked Live weekly t-shirt. And we're going to throw in a PXI BT 100.2 amplified controller. That's a great piece that you can use as the uh, starting point for your system and your ATV, UTV, uh, bike, boat, wet bike, whatever you got out there. I mean, there's lots of things you can do with that prize. Yeah, I mean, so, them, them yeah. on motorcycles, ATVs, I mean, it, it's a nice little piece. Absolutely. In fact, it's so nice that GM buys that piece. <laughs> GM buys a lot of that piece for a yeah. thing called the Multi-Tailgate Pro Audio System, and we do tend to sell a few of those. Things. Yeah, those things are pretty awesome, and they are in high demand. So, hey, if they like it, it's got to be. They good. like it. So, real quick, all of our winners tonight, a couple things, and I'll tell you this again when we announce first place again. We need some things from you if you're the winner. First thing is, if you are the winner, you can reach out to social at kicker.com. That'll get you straight in touch with Bill Frog to get your information. Bill Frog will also be reaching out to you tomorrow via email to let you know you're the winner. If you are the winner, please respond. In the uh, terms and conditions, we give you a week to respond to get your prize. Uh, most everyone does reply, but we have had a couple occasions where someone's really late to the party. But understand, we need you to get back to this ASAP. If you don't, we are going to pull a new winner after seven days. We are also going to need to get your uh, shipping address. It cannot be a P.O. box, so please reply to Bill or when you contact Bill directly yourself. Make sure it's an address with no P.O. box. We do need a phone number, and this is sincere when we say this. We're not taking your number for any marketing purpose. Purposes. We do not sell it or anything. It's just that no matter who we ship with, FedEx, UPS, USPS, DHL, local camel, or the pigeon carrier, they all want a phone number so they can contact you and actually arrange to get your package to you if they can't find you or for you to come down and pick it up at their offices. And last but certainly not least, verify your shirt size. I know when you enter the contest, it's a drop-down box, but if you accidentally hit Schmedium when you meant to hit 2XL, we'll make sure you get to the right shirt in your size. So make verify your shirt band at that point. Yeah, it's an armband. It's not a shirt at that point. Or it's a, a do rag. I mean, or you can wash the car. So that would be the information we need to get from you. With that said, as always, I know Mr. Bill has got everything ready to go on the bottom of the screen. So, Bill, hit us with winner number three on tonight's show. And we got winner number three is Beverly R. from Freeport, Florida. Nice. Be Be and I'm going to assume, hopefully, I'm assuming correctly, Beverly sounds like a, a lady or a girl. So if it would be fantastic because we do have a lot more guys that watch than we do gals. So Which Beverly, is. congratulations. You're our winner tonight from Freeport, Florida. Congrats. Thank you for tuning into the show. We hope you enjoyed it. Any comments or suggestions you have, be sure you reach out to socialatkicker.com. Let us know what you think. And if you haven't, on the way out the door, be sure you hit that smash that like button. We certainly appreciate that feedback. Let's us know we're on the right path. Bill, let's move on to winner number dose. Who do we have tonight? Here it is. Anthony, Anthony. P. 
from Midvale, Utah. So only Florida to Utah. That's a pretty good, that's a good jump across that's the United States. That's more than States. a day's drive. I mean, we've ping pong coast to coast in some of our winters, so that's pretty good. Now we just have to bop up to Canada. There, we had a winner come up there. there so Anthony P. from Midvale, Utah, you are a winner tonight. Thank you for watching tonight, sir. We hope you enjoy the content. We look forward to seeing you again here next week. And that brings us to our number one position, Bill. Who do we have in the number one spot tonight? Cha-ching. Tonight's grand prize is Thomas M. from Middletown, Rhode Island. So boom, boom. Back over there. Boom. So there we go. Middletown, Rhode Island is our third grand prize winner tonight, Thomas M. So folks, if you are the winner, again, please, uh, two things. Either reach out to social at kicker.com right now if you want. Bill will get that email first thing in the morning get back to you. Bill will also reach out to you tomorrow and let you know that you are the winner. We just need to confirm your shipping address, no P.O. box, need a phone number, and we need to confirm your shirt size. And congratulations to all three of you. And congratulations to all three of you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Hopefully you had fun with John and I. I know it's been a blast for me uh, having you guys join us from UTV Stereo. Clear over on the, you know, we didn't quite get that far, but we did get a winner in Utah. It'd be nice if we had one in Arizona. Way over there. Or there. farther south. This way. That way. Uh, that's, be that way. That's north. <laughs> It'd be that way. It's that way. That way. I yeah. don't even know where we're at in the now studio. Now that guys know what, how we <laughs> oriented the studio. But. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our winners for this evening. I'm going to look here real quick and see if we've got any other comments we can throw up because we've got a few more minutes here. See what we got here. Awesome show. Here we go. Living Loud with Dandy. Awesome show. UTV Stereo and Kicker Team. Thank you, Andy. We certainly appreciate that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. It is rigged for me, too. Lane Craner. You know, I grabbed him real quick. A lot of people don't know Lane is actually Mike Craner's grandson. And Mike Craner is one of our dealers okay. up in Layton, Utah. And so Lane actually watches the show. I don't know if Lane's watching with his granddad tonight or not. It feels funny to say granddad. I mean, I'm a granddad. Doesn't even seem right to say those words. I'm a granddad. I think I like Uncle Kip better than Granddad. Congratulations, all winners. Hey, Joseph, thank you for that. Congratulations to all the winners. Absolutely. Um, see if there's anything else on here to throw up. That'd be great. Oh, here we go. Justin Kirby. Justin, thank you for that. We certainly appreciate knowing that the content we're putting out is something that you guys appreciate and enjoy. And the comment like that, you guys are obviously enjoying it. Thank you so much for that right there. Yannick was up there. So he won last a couple weeks ago. Yeah, here's. Uh, so this is our gentleman, Yannick. Polisek, I won Q-Class Components a few weeks ago. You never know we're going to give away on the show. That's why tune in every Tuesday night is kind of a cool thing. We actually do these drawings. They, they, we kick them off. They're only available during the show. We end it. We announce the winners. And it's really a special thank you for all of you tuning in and watch the show every Tuesday night. Uh, so thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for that. And hopefully you're enjoying your prize. Uh, if you haven't, you get that installed in your vehicle, car, truck, van, wherever you're using it. Man, send some pictures to uh, social at kicker.com. Bill would love to have those. Yeah, Post them up on social media. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's, man, there's a lot of comments in here. Hold on, I'm trying to see here. Let me throw this one up. Marcus Nance, love your show tonight. Keep making good products. Marcus, thank you, sir. Hopefully you enjoyed our time with the gentleman from UTV Stereo. Um, I, I, like I've said it several times now, I can now see why Tracy is always a... Uh, can I say this? He's always weirded up. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, they're, Wally, for that yeah. term. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a safe term to use. Everybody yeah. see other people. He's weenered up about it. Uh, Never yeah. stopped Wally from using it. <laughs> if you yeah. know Wally. <laughs> Here we go. Justin Binnaker. Love you, Kip, but hate I didn't win. Justin, it is all random luck of the draw. Keep uh, watching. Yeah, you know, hopefully, you know, we've tried to sh uh, use it a few times. There's going to be a new drawing interface that's actually provided by our contest people who run this. At some point, we'll be able to do the drawings, you know, front facing towards you so you can see them. But it is all random drawing that Bill does in the back. So uh, you never know who's going to win. But uh, thank you for tuning yeah. in. Bill's not back there drawing them with a crayon anymore. No, <laughs> with a crayon. <laughs> Hey, there's Kip. Future show needs to show some kicker employee cars. Bobby B, that's a good idea. We'll see what we can do about that. You know what's cool about that? Is it still? I have to look and see. This used to be a kicker employee's no, car. No, well, that is true. The, yeah, but because that was Randy's. Let me, let me point. The, so that bike that's sitting right there. Jeremy's bike. That's actually Jeremy Wynn, the guy back there who works with us every week. That's his bike. So that's pretty cool that he has that. I mean, let it's me here fall in the off studio. The so you can see it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Shout out to Bullfrog and Big Urn. Lots of great comments here tonight. So we're going to wrap this thing up. Sean, Chase, Dom, 
you thank guys you. did a fantastic job tonight. I can't thank you enough for joining us and walking us through everything you guys do there at UTV Stereo. Uh, and I'm sincere with this. I'm going to have a discussion with Tracy and, uh, and, of course, with the people above us. I'm going to see if we really can't be out there for your grand opening because I think being able to do a live feed from your new store, let all these people who watch the show actually get to see your new location, shoot some video stuff out there, I think it'd be fantastic. So if you're willing to have a few extra guests, uh, I think we're going to come along. I think you need to go sign autographs. <laughs> Yeah, we'd love to have you out there, and, and we'll we'd love to be on Unmasked again, even you know when the, when we are in the new building. So let us know if you want us back on. I, absolutely, you know we we truly do like uh, getting dealers who are uh, you know being successful with Kicker products or enjoying Kicker products. Uh, you know it's part of the mix that they go to market with. We love having you guys on the show, uh, and you are there's. A, I'm beginning to learn there are more cool, unique dealers than I even realize because the more we have guests on the show, the more I get to learn what you guys do out there. And you are definitely a specialized, focused dealer on the UTV market. Uh, and the few vehicles that I've had the chance to hear personally at the Sand Sport Super Show. You guys are doing it like no one else is, and I mean that sincerely. Uh, you do are, you're doing some fantastic stuff, and the stuff I saw today is even more than I saw back then, so uh, you guys aren't sitting on your hunches. You are definitely moving forward and making some fantastic product. Just I, I got to give you props. Smarter. Definitely working smarter. Absolutely. So with that said, you got anything to say to the unmasked audience tonight before we close the show out? No, thanks for joining us, and hope you enjoyed it. We sure did. We sure did. Thanks for joining us, folks. We will catch you soon. We will definitely have you back on another Unmasked episode sometime here in the near future. Have a great evening. Okay, with that said, that brings us to the final, final wrap-up here with my good buddy John Myers. Can I say you can leave me hanging again? <laughs> nope, I'm not going to leave you hanging again. I'll get you out there. You know, I hope everyone tuned in and enjoyed tonight's show. Our special guest joined us from UTV Stereo. They had a wonderful uh, display of products there that they uh, build, not just using kicker gear. You can use anything you want, but that stuff they're manufacturing UTVs. That stuff's fantastic. Can't say thank you enough to them for joining us. Um, as always, it's my pleasure to be the knucklehead in front of the camera. John Myers joining me here tonight. John, thank you for doing that. Anytime. Back behind, we got JW, we got Bill Frog, and we got Ernie. Tim's on vacation, so we're just doing it here any way we can. Want to say that we are lucky to be the few people here in front of the camera uh, representing the 200 plus employees here at Stillwater Designs and Audio, known as Kicker to everyone out there in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Have a safe week. Have a great weekend. And we will see you next Tuesday night, 730 Central Time, right here on the Kicker Facebook and YouTube channels. Hit that like button. Give us comments. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Good night.